We have an update on the attack at Mally's in Conway, Arkansas. They seem to have had some sort of town meeting about this. Speaking first, we have the police who make excuses, but also give us an update on an arrest. So regarding the investigation, on the night of the incident, one person was apprehended within the first two minutes of the arrival of the first responding officers. And she went to jail that night. After we started receiving, a few days later, receiving additional videos and everything, an individual was charged with five felony counts related to their involvement in this incident. Additional charges will be filed against individuals involved in this incident within the next few days. The extent of these charges hinges on the level of cooperation we receive from witnesses or victims involved in this incident. I say that for this. Earlier this afternoon, we received a video that we've been requesting. We received it this afternoon that showed additional footage, um, which led us, enabled us to proceed getting felony charges against Michael Kennedy for his involvement. In this incident. At the start of this meeting, uh, Michael Kennedy turned himself into the police department. He's currently at our police department right now. Um, the last thing I just want to say I, this is an example of when the community and the police department work together, justice can be served in a timely fashion. Hello, everyone. My name is Latanya Shante Duncan. I am the president new president for the Fulton County NAACP. They should have been arrested for all being publicly intoxicated. I need to know, the community needs to know the correct protocol for when an officer arrives on the scene and there are bloody kids on the scene. We need to know that protocol. We also need to know why it took two days for the police to get statements. The police told the boy on camera, you can either go to the hospital or you can go to jail. Everyone was told to leave, disperse. The police went to the hospital. The, boy, the, the boy's mom transported him to the hospital because she did not feel safe at that time. The police officer arrived over there and did not write down a statement. We also need police cams from every officer that was on that scene. That needs to be made public after the ongoing investigation. They only took down names and their date of birth. That is an issue. Statements need to be made on the scene when everything is fresh on the minds and no one has time to gather extra little information to try to make it what they want to make it. These minors that were brutally attacked by adults that are not even from our city. Let's not minimize what happened to these children by not saying that it was a black or not a black or white issue that happened. This was a hate crime. Make no mistake about it. Those children weren't targeted because they were just kids hanging out. They were black kids hanging out. And so I'm sorry to any parents that here, but that really disturbed me. It was a hate crime that happened to these kids. And yesterday, a city spokesman stated that this is not the culture in Conway. But the truth is, even though these citizens weren't from Conway, this has been an underlying culture in Conway, not only by the citizens, but also by the police department. <laughs> the recent incident that occurred was one reminder that a hate crime occurred when not one person that attacked those children was arrested. And I understand what the chief of police says, oh, well, we have to investigate, we have to do this and do that. But I've seen people that look just like me that have been picked up off the street for less with no evidence, with no proof. And they build a strong enough case to put them behind bars and sit them in jail. So that, that to me is not acceptable. Not one breathalyzer was done. When they were clearly intoxicated. They were then allowed to go on those roads and travel home intoxicated, further causing harm to other citizens that may have been in the community. The citizens need to feel safe. The children need to feel protected and given retribution for these heinous crimes that were committed against them. That company's policy needs to be looked into and investigated. The police department in Conway, bias training needs to be implemented within the Conway Police Department. <laughs> so I just ask everyone here 
to consider what culture is being created. And as we keep saying community, 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 love, 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 you can operate in love and speak truth to power. You can operate in love and still hold people accountable. You shouldn't be afraid to hold people accountable. <laughs>